What is up y'all, my name is Cameron, we got Nolan behind the camera, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back out here on the beach, not a cloud in the sky, another great day. We're going to be trying to catch, well, really whatever bites, whiting, drum, um, maybe we can even catch a whiting and throw it on the big rod and try to catch some bull reds, I really don't know. Stay tuned, we're going to see what happens. A little piece of shrimp on a super easy single drop rig, a little hook, a little pyramid sinker, throwing it out in the first gut from shore, and uh, I'm thinking we're going to get bit on something, so let's get right to it. I think it's on. If it is, it's small. Well, it just got bit here again. If it's on here, it's going to be super tiny. It's on there. What do we have here? Oh, one of these things. I don't even know what this is. We always catch these. Leave a comment down below if you know what, oh, if you know what type of fish this is. It's not a croaker. I don't know what they are. We were going to bait our other rod, and he just got bit on this one. And it looked like a bigger bite. Nothing here though, we still have a shrimp on the bottom. Nothing on the top. Man, I thought for a second we broke off, because it bent the rod. Shoot, almost doubled the rod over, and then nothing was there. So, very weird. We're gonna cast it back out, see if we can get something else. All right, we just got bit on this rod right here, and I forgot to mention we have special guest Richard back on. Hey. He's been on the videos a few times before, but yeah, so he's running this one, and we're hoping it's still on there. We get a bunch of bites here, but we miss way more fish than we're catching, than we're hooking into. So we might have to change to smaller hooks. There it is. A little baby. <laughs> About... <laughs> All right, look at this, guys. Barely hooked. I mean, a sliver of skin there. And these are probably about the same size that we were catching in our last video, which if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. We catch and cook them on the beach. We're gonna put the card right up here, so click on, click on that. Um, but yeah, probably about the same size. We're hoping to get some bigger ones this time, but if we don't, we'll definitely settle for that. And uh, we're gonna throw them in the cooler and do a catch and cook at home and try to redeem ourselves. So as soon as we unhooked the other whiting, casted it back out, not more than Two seconds later, this rod got bent. So, hopefully it's a little bit bigger than the last one. He's fighting it like it's a tuna. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Hey, you can keep reeling. I'm just gonna pull it up. Same thing. Same size here. I think he's, is he hooked twice? No. Same one. Probably about eight, nine inches. Get them on hook, let them go. Rebate the hooks like always. And throw them back out there, guys. The bite is hot right now. Even though there's no tide movement, I mean, it's no more than a five minutes in between each bite. This thing feels a little bit better. It's not really fighting, it's just kind of dead weight. Maybe it's just a bunch of seaweed, huh? We definitely had a bite. I think there's gonna be a bunch of seaweed on here and a fish. Yep. Hey, that's a better whiting. Yeah, that's a, okay. This one's going in the cooler going home. That is like the minimum size we're looking for to take home. This is probably a 11 inch whiting, somewhere around there. Obviously not the biggest they get, but definitely an edible one. So catch and cook coming at y'all. Throw them in the cooler, put another shrimp on and get another one, hopefully. We are bit again almost immediately. We don't even have time to run back to the truck and grab a shrimp before we get bit again. Let's see how what this one is. Another decent one, right? That looks pretty decent, right, Nolan? We'll throw this one in the cooler too. He's just about the same size as the other one. Anyone hooked here? Great thing about circle hooks, always get hooked right in the corner of their mouth there, right in the bottom. Never swallow it. All right, bit again. Just cast this one out with the same piece of shrimp I used last time. And this one feels a whole lot better. I don't, this could be a little red or something or a big whiting. I don't know, I think it's a big whiting. It is. Now that is the size whiting that we are looking for right there. That's a big one. They obviously do get bigger than this. But I, it's funny, cause I just told Richard, I just told Richard Nolan, we already have four in the box. 
unless they get substantially bigger, let's let some go. And this one got a lot bigger. There we go. That was a good fight. From this size fish, it definitely puts up a fight. We're going to throw them in the cooler, wash them off, get a real tight grip on them, wash them off, then throw them in the cooler. And uh, that is dinner. Bite, 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 bite. Richard's on a big one. That's not a, that's not a whiting. If it's a whiting, it's bigger, I think. That could be a drum. Dude, that's a drum. Look how much that rides there. It has to be. This one right here was a lot slower of a bite, just a more even bend. It could be because there's a bunch of seaweed on there. I really hope not. It's definitely a fish, right? It's something. <laughs> you heard it here first. It's something. The fish swimming to the left and it's right there. What are your thoughts? My shoulders are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it has to, it's a, it's a drum, it's a drum. Oh no, it's a redfish, I think. Keep it up, keep it up. It's a good red. Okay, I don't want to have any error here. Dude, that's a big old, probably close to 30 inch red. Good fit here, Richard, take your fish. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth, guys. If you can see that. Perfect. Nice fish, dude. And right, we're gonna measure him out right here. Not gonna keep it because it's too big, but that is exactly 30 to right there. Guys, Ooh mama. <laughs> look how beat up he is. I mean, just messed up, oh, chomped up, really light dot on he just looks destroyed so not the prettiest fish but a good fish and a good fight huh yes. all right we're gonna get the get a picture of richard with this fish he said he thinks this is his pb redfish so we're gonna get a picture of him with this fish then we're gonna let it go to live another day get bigger and breed He's gone, release good. We're gonna find another day breed for us once he gets bigger. And uh, we're gonna cast down and see if we can catch a couple more of those because those are a great fight. So I wanted to go over the conditions with y'all real quick. It's a warm February day. It's actually February 2nd. It's almost like probably in the 60s. Uh, no clouds, nothing like that. The wind's blowing about 15 off of the beachfront. And then the tide right now, it was low whenever we got here, but immediately within like 30 minutes started pushing in real hard. We've had to keep moving our chairs back because it's still coming in and the bite picked up whenever that started happening. Um, the only thing that we're battling right now is that there's quite a bit of seaweed in the beach. So you have a good five to 10 minutes before the seaweed gets on your line and you have to reel it in and reset it. Just wanna let y'all know, and we're gonna keep fishing. So we're picking up on the beach here, about to reel in this rod. Uh, too much seaweed, it just all started to pour in on us. We can't keep our lines in the water. And the bite completely died out. So we're gonna pick this up, and then we're gonna head back to the house, get home a little early today so we can cook this fish up for y'all, show y'all exactly how we're gonna make it. Um, last time we tried whiting, it was not the best, honestly. We didn't like it, but everyone raves about it. So we're gonna try it again, and I think it's gonna be better this time. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see y'all at the house, in the kitchen, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good meal ready. So it's actually the next day. We got the fish all cleaned up right here. Reminds me a bunch of crappie with the color of it and just how thin it is. But that's our whiting. And then all we're doing, super simple recipe guys, flour and cornmeal because we didn't have any Louisiana fish fries. So I kind of made my own two parts cornmeal, one part flour, and then crawfish boil actually to season it. And we're just going to dunk these in here, no egg wash or anything like that, and straight into the hot oil. So it should be simple. Stay tuned. Let's see how it turns out. Fish is done here, we're pulling it all out. Then we're gonna go inside, get some sauce or something for it, tartar sauce, ketchup, I don't know. We're gonna try it out. Pretty excited, it looks great. Nice golden brown on all of these. Uh, we forgot egg wash or was it mustard? So we literally just did it without any type of like, uh, what do you call it, any type of wash on it to make the stuff stick. But it still looks really good. 
We're gonna give it a taste here. Perfect looking piece of fish. All right, we got our sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, and a little bit of horseradish. Super simple. We're gonna give it a try. Oh, we should have done without sauce. Too late. Mm -hmm. So way better than last time we had it. Last time we were on the beach, we cooked it on the beach. We couldn't get our fire to stay warm, so the oil kept like making it soggy. And then it tasted like we were eating out of a sand pit. So this is definitely way better. I slept on it last time. I'm gonna give it another try. What a new piece. But yeah, I'll definitely be going and catching some more whiting. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already. If you are, thank you so much. We're gonna finish off this plate because this is amazing. Uh, let us know if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, guys, we're out and uh, peace.